So I've had an Amazon Echo Auto now for about two weeks. Uh, these are just coming out, and I assume by Christmas they'll be uh, fully on the market. And I wanted to do a review on it just because it's so new and it's been actually a, a pretty nice device to work with. So it's this little little device, it's got the two echo buttons that you're familiar with and a light in the front. It mounts to your uh, ventilation system with this little uh, piece that fits in your, in your uh, vents and then it's magnetically attached to the uh, stand. And then this plugs into your, uh, I guess, formerly known as, uh, formerly known as a uh, cigarette lighter, but power outlet. And it's, it's got, it's got uh, two USB outs. So if you want to, you can charge your phone from the, from the same one. And then it, Will connect to and that's it now you've got a, a full Amazon uh, Echo device in your car so far it's been great it does everything that I've, I've wanted it to do and uh, then some uh, for example Alexa what time is it? The time is 9.37 a.m. So have a good morning. I've got it connected. Uh, it, it connects from the Echo device to the phone and then the phone's audio is going through the uh, car stereo. I found that if I want, I can wear uh, Bluetooth headphones and it will pump into the headphones. I can turn off the audio. Uh, that also works, uh, and so far there's, there's been really no problem with the audio. It's, it's great. Uh, when I make calls with it, it will make calls through the phone, and the uh, person on the other side of the phone says it sounds clearer than when I'm in the car normally, and, and that's because the speaker uh, has got uh, eight directional speakers on the phone, and they're much higher quality than what comes default in most cars. This is a 2016 Ford Explorer. So it's not a you know, old car, but the, the speakers are still much nicer in this, this new device. Um, it will, does not seem to be sending uh, Amazon uh, messages when I use the message it sends it as an SMS message, which is kind of interesting. It sends it as an SMS through the phone, and that means that I can also send it to people that don't have Amazon devices. Uh, and that's nice. And it, it sends both a text, and it also sends a little uh, audio file. So that's nice. Uh, it does function as a navigator, but only in as much as it will open your uh, Google Maps and run the navigation from the phone uh, through the speakers. And I, I would demonstrate that here, except that when you do that, it uh, shuts off the camera. Uh, but you should just know that it works pretty much seamlessly. Uh, the reason that I'm excited about this is whenever I get in the car to, to drive, for example, going to work, I, I get a long list of you know, to-do items. You know, when I get to work, I need to do X, Y, Z. And it's got that built in. Alexa, add to my calendar. Sure. What day and time? Today at 6.30 p.m. On what day? Today. And what's the name of the event? Upload video. I'll schedule upload video today at 6.30 p.m., okay? Okay. Okay, I've added that. Alexa, add to my to-do list. What can I add for you? Edit video. You already have edit video on your...
your to-do list. Would you like to add edit video again? No. It also will set reminders. So it'll set reminders and it will have uh, location-based reminders. So I can say, you know, when I get to Walmart, remind me to buy milk. And it will do that. Alexa, when I get to Walmart, remind me to buy bread. Okay, Scott P. I'll remind you at Walmart Vision and Glasses. And uh, it also has uh, the capacity to recognize location. And I'll, I'll you know, record a demonstration here as I'm driving to the office today uh, and, and uh, cut that into this video. Alexa, where am I? You're on WA270 in Pullman, Washington, headed east. And, and lastly, it pretty much seamlessly works with the Amazon video, not a video, Amazon uh, Music. Alexa, play Let's Make the Water Turn Black. Let's Make the Water Turn Black by Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention, starting now on Amazon Music. And with the audibles, so you can uh, access your audible book while driving without digging in your phone. And, and that's a nice benefit. Uh, a lot of the applications before, I would be mostly hands-free, but occasionally, for example, if I wanted to change chapters in a book or something, I'd have to uh, touch it. And, and now that's all taken care of with the device. Alexa, open my audiobook. There's eight minutes left in the chapter and two days, three hours, 39 minutes left in the book. I don't like it, Pete. And he is asking to be allowed to go out for five minutes. Alexa, do you stop. I wanted to see if the missing piece were at the scene of the Alexa, street. stop. Oh. There's been, a, I don't know if I call them two issues, but they're features that do not work quite right. Uh, one is, is I found that uh, unlike the uh, sync built into the Ford, it will not stop the vents as you are speaking. So in the sync, you push the, the button, it turn down, turns down the vents, and then it asks you to speak a command. And this one, if you have your vents blowing on high, sometimes it uh, masks what you're saying. So you'll have to be aware or you know, find a different location possibly for the uh, device so that it's not having air being blown on it. Uh, and a second issue is that when you receive SMS messages, I have not gotten it to be able to read them yet. I will say, you know, read message. And when it does that, the blue light turns on as though it's speaking to me, but there's no sound. And my assumption is that there is a competition between the uh, Ford Sync and the Amazon device for priority over the messages. Uh, but I'm not entirely certain yet. So those are the only two features that I have not gotten to work yet. But aside from that, uh, it's been a great device. Uh, I have an Amazon dock you know, at home and in the office. So I've been using that to you know, keep my calendars in sync and uh, just organize my day. Uh, and, and this has been a way to bridge between those. Uh, and in particular, if you're going on a, a lengthy drive, for example, I occasionally will drive to, to Richland to visit uh, a laboratory there. And when I do that, uh, you know, you're in the car for three hours and it's nice to be able to access books and all of this without having to uh, grab the phone and also have access to your reminders and calendar and to-do list. So I will come back and probably post a follow-up in six months from now to see if it's still working. Uh, so far, it does not seem to have any problem with the heat. We've had days up here that are 
between 95 and 100 Fahrenheit, and uh, I've just left it out in the car, and there's been really no uh, apparent problem. So they constructed it to be able to withstand the heat, uh, and we'll see how it handles the cold as well. So thank you very much. Okay, one final comment. The Amazon device, if you want to know the street name you're on and the direction you're driving, you need to have it open up the navigation by asking it for an address. So for example, right now I've turned on navigation and I've told it to tell me how to get to Walmart. And if I say, Alexa, where am I? You're at 180 Fairmount Drive in Pullman, Washington. It'll give me the address. And if I'm driving, it will tell me the direction I'm driving. So one final comment. Uh, the past week on and off, and in particular the past two days, I've been having a problem in which I will be away from the car, either in my house or uh, my work, and while I'm talking on the phone, it will shout in my ear, uh, unmute uh, car stereo, or something along those lines. Uh, I, I don't remember the exact message, but this is a problem that I've seen other Echo uh, Auto users uh, report. I found that if I unplug, or I found that this only occurs if I'm somewhat near the car and I've left the uh, Echo Auto plugged in. And I, I've seen before that the Echo Auto does drain battery with uh, the car not being on. So for example, when you turn the car off, it will continue to operate. And even after you open the door, it will continue to operate. So there is a, a period when it's, it's operating. And the instruction manual also says that if you plan to leave your car unattended for uh, a period of time that you should unplug it. So there's some type of interference between the auto and the phone that seems to be uh, a bug of some sort. But it's, it's not always a problem. Uh, I also know that this bug, after you unplug the uh, Echo Auto from the uh, charger, that seems to go away. So it does seem to suggest it's that device that has a problem. However, even if it's unplugged, then if you try to start a call using a headset and the uh, Echo uh, app on your phone, it will say that it cannot initiate a call because you're already in a call, end the call. So somehow the call got locked in to the uh, app as though it's already on. And, and this seems to be a, a bug that, you know, is not a significant problem, but it's something that I, I think needs to be worked out. And it's also not clear to me what causes this, because sometimes it's a problem and other times it's not. For example, that first week, it was not a problem. But having said that, you know, if I'm wearing headsets, Bluetooth headsets, as I walk into the car, when I start the car, then my phone is connected by Bluetooth to, and the, the phone is a... Uh, Samsung S8 Plus uh, is connected to the uh, Ford slash Microsoft Sync on the car, is connected to my watch, which is a Samsung Galaxy, is connected to the headset, which are uh, sound peats, and is connected to the uh, is connected to the uh, Echo Auto. So it could be any one of those that, that aren't playing well with each other. But, but nonetheless, I would say that this is the only significant bug that I, I found uh, in the past two weeks of use. Uh, and I'm, I'm guessing that by the time that they release this product to the general public, which I, I assume is going to be around this Christmas, uh, that's going to be worked out. So one final, final comment about the uh, Amazon Echo uh, Auto. I've got the... Uh, Samsung S8 
phone and I recently enabled uh, iris and password protection and when I did that uh, there was a brief interruption in the connection to the Amazon Auto because when you get in the car you have to uh, put the password in and I had to go through a couple iterations of rebooting the Amazon Auto device and the phone to get this to work but eventually uh, it came to the point that when you get in the car you would have to put the password in or iris uh, unlock the first time and and from then on it uh, just kept an automatic connection uh, one solution to that is is to uh, turn on the uh, smart unlock feature of the phone and with that it seems to work fairly seamlessly but it's just worth noting that if you or when you do have the uh, password protection or iris protect iris uh, unlocking enabled it may take a few uh, a few attempts and, and certainly I had to reboot uh, both devices a couple times in order to make it work so one final 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 comment uh, the Amazon Echo uh, Auto is uh, data dependent, as are all Echo devices, meaning that if you drive out of range of uh, signal, uh, everything stops. Uh, so for example, yesterday I was driving through central Washington and it was reading my audiobook and when I went out of range, it, it quit reading. In contrast, I could load the audiobook through uh, the Audible app and play it. And when I went out of signal, there was enough data available that would just keep reading. Uh, but the Amazon device does not do that. So I've only had this happen uh, once. And, and that is, is when driving through a region that I knew there was no signal. Uh, aside from that, it really has not uh, been a significant problem.